Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this is just a quick update on a video I made just over a year ago installing Mac OS Catalina on an old Mac Pro and then using that as a super cheap Logic workstation computer. Okay, now there's a problem now with this and the problem is with Logic 10.6.1 the new update of Logic that has been coded for the new Silicon Macs and the metal graphics that those new Macs use, right? Okay, so this is the deal. I've just reinstalled Catalina on my Mac Pro because I'm rebuilding the Mac Pro. I used DOS Dude 1's installer to install Catalina on this Mac Pro. Look in the description below and you'll see a link to my original video showing you how to do that. And in underneath that video, is all the links you need to get the patching software to install Catalina on an old Mac Pro. Okay, so here's my old Mac Pro running Catalina. Now, once you've set up Catalina on your old Mac Pro, Apple sees your machine as a completely legitimate Catalina Mac. So you can go to the App Store, log in with your Apple ID, and download all your legal software. So I did that. I downloaded Logic. There it is. But the problem is this. The latest version of Logic for Catalina now is Logic 10.6.1. Now, as I said, it's been coded for these new Silicon Macs, so let's run it and see what happens. Look, there's a problem. Right. Okay. This is it. Logic 10.6.1. Okay, and you can see there's no playhead. Look. It's working, it's playing, but there's no damn playhead. Because the playhead with this new version, 1061, is overlaid on top of Logic by these special metal graphics drivers, some technique they're using, right? Right, okay. I mean, if I put my mouse up over where the playhead normally is, the two little arrows appear like I can grab the playhead and I'm dragging while holding down the left mouse, and I've got hold of the playhead, and I'm dragging it around. You can see the bars and beats moving as I drag the playhead around, but the playhead's invisible, man. Okay, right, so this is your solution. Let's quit that. Once you've installed Catalina on the Mac Pro, you need to find a copy of Logic 10.5.1. And the reason that you want that version is this. 10.5.0 was the big update version where they brought in the live loops, the quick sampler, the completely rewritten main sampler, and all the new stuff. And then 10.5.1 was a service update that came after that, which added a load of stability fixes. So that's the one you want. It's got all the same latest features as Logic 10.6.1, but it just hasn't been jigged around with by Apple to work with the Silicon Max. Okay, so I found a copy eventually. And trust me, it is this problem is with Logic. It's not anything to do with um, DOS Dude's patching software. I tried installing older legacy video patches and older metal video fix patches. It's nothing to do with his patches. If you use the latest DOS Dude 1 Catalina installer, it all works fine. It's to do with that Logic 10.6.1. So I found a copy of 10.5.1, and here it is. I've copied it into my application, so let's run it. There it is, 10.5.1. Okay, and there's the playhead. We've got the playhead. Everything works 100%. But here's the really cool thing. When I downloaded 10.6.1, 10.6.1 from the App Store, I first thing I did was download all the content, all of the content. Once you install them, well, you don't need to install it. You just need to unzip it and put it on your hard drive and run it, and it just runs. Once you get this 10.5.1 version, look, we're running it now. Go to the library. It's picked up all the content. You don't have to go through installing the content all over again. It knows where the content is and it just automatically connects to it. So all the content is there. And uh, you've got a playhead. Everything's working 100%. It's 
So there's your solution. Now, I thought about putting this version of Logic 10.5.1 on my server and putting a link in the description below this video so that you could easily just go and download a copy, right? And you know it's safe and you're not going to some dodgy website to do that. I thought about doing that, but I don't think I'm going to because I, if I did put it on my server, it's not a crack software. There's not a key gen. There's no, I'm not giving you a serial number or something. And you have to have a Mac to run it. And this is really Apple's fault because they don't provide anywhere for the genuine user who's paid for Logic to be able to download earlier versions. But I don't think I'd better do that because I could get into legal trouble. So this is what you're looking for. Ready? that there yeah just stop the video write that down exactly as you see it that's the version of logic pro 1051 that i found online and it works 100 percent okay it's not an install package you don't have to run an installer or anything it's simply a zip file. Inside it, there are two RAR archives. You have to unrar those together, and then you end up with a copy of Logic 10.5.1, and it is 1.58 gigabytes in size. And then you just put it anywhere on your hard drive, double click and run it, and, logic, and, it, and it opens Logic and runs Logic. And as I said, if you've already put the content on, it will find all the content. That's the version you want. Apple.logic.pro.x.v10.5.1.update.macOS hyphen new disco. All right. Oh my God. I'll tell you what. When I got it, finally, it took me two hours to find that copy of Logic to be able to download it. Because so many websites that you go to. They claim they've got a copy of 1051. Click here to download, and it just opens two or three other pages. And then if it does download something, what it's downloaded is not logic at all. It's some software. I don't know if they expect you to set up a software on your machine, which you can then use to download from their servers. I don't know how it works. But eventually I found the raw logic in a zip file, and that's the one you're looking for. I'm not saying other other ones won't work, but I can tell you for a fact that particular one will work, okay? So if you've got a torrent search thing, just search for that, right? Okay, and there you go. And you've got Logic 10.5.1 running on Catalina on an old Mac Pro, and 10.5.1 gives you absolutely all of the features of the new... Um, where are we? It gives you all the features of the the same as Logic 10.6.1. Live loops, everything. I'm just loading up one of the demos for the live loops. Look, everything's working. Look, absolutely lovely. <laughs> So everything's hunky dory, man. You got all those features, all the latest features, quick sampler, absolutely everything. Brilliant stuff, right? All right, there you go. Hope that's useful. Again, look in the description below and you'll find a link to the original video where I show you a step by step how to install Logic, um, sorry, Catalina on an old Mac Pro. And trust me, these Mac Pros, um, I'm using a 2.8 gigahertz. 8 core from 2008 that's the Mac Pro 3 comma 1 trust me they've got a lot of power even today 
They they really do. Um, it's just a shame that Apple sort of cut them out by making sure that the latest OS wouldn't wouldn't work on them. But they that's just so stupid they did that because they've got plenty of power. Don't worry about that. Okay, so there you go. Hope that's useful. If you want to run Logic on an old Mac Pro, that's how you got to do it now. You've got to get a copy of 10.5.1, okay? All right, guys, uh, I'll see you for more videos soon.